Wait. Welcome back here on your 4th of July. And again, the logo at the top here, the code red day. We are tracking the threat of severe storms late this afternoon into this evening. And Grand Island, you could be a part of that as we look over with our NTV Vera Wireless Camera Network. Now this morning, it is, I mean, just gorgeous. It's warm, but it's a really nice morning. But look how fast we heat up. I mean, already by 1 o'clock, we're approaching 90. It is going to be hot, and it's going to be a little bit humid. But again, the severe weather is really what we're tracking for today. So timing of it, probably late afternoon into the evening. So we're talking 4 or 5 o'clock for these storms, and they could develop pretty quickly along that front. Once they kind of breach a little bit of a cap that's in the atmosphere, they could really explode pretty quickly. Large hail damaging winds are going to be the primary threat and favoring areas, I think, along and south of the interstate. I think that's how I think those areas are going to have the best chance of rain and they're going to have the best chance of severe weather. Now, last night, everything kind of stayed up north. We just saw uh, northern Nebraska get clipped by a little bit of rainfall because we did have a severe thunderstorm watch overnight that has since been canceled. But as we look at our future cast, again, this front that's going to move in should be enough to overcome any of those warm temps in the atmosphere. And we should see a line of severe storms developing pretty quickly, very late this afternoon into this evening. Then that will kind of blast its way eastward. And then we have the potential it could be some heavy rain as we head into tonight. And yeah, you look at 11 o'clock, there are still fireworks that are supposed to be ongoing in this time frame. It's not looking great, okay, as these storms are going to roll through. And then during the day tomorrow, we'll actually keep a chance of some scattered showers and thunderstorms around as well. So here's our enhanced risk of severe weather. Tri-City southward. Okay, so that's a three out of a five on the threat level. Yeah, it's starting to ramp up uh, a little bit. And really, the severe winds, the damaging winds, I mean, we could be talking 70, 80 mile per hour winds, not out of the question. That's actually the highest threat that we have is for strong winds. We do have the hail threat, which is almost always going to be there. But as far as the tornado outlook goes, they don't really have anything from the Storm Prediction Center. As hot as it is, okay, it's so hot that the cloud base for these storms is probably going to be somewhat elevated, which usually limits our tornadic threat pretty significantly, but still going to keep an eye on things. It's keep in mind the winds doesn't have to be a tornado to be a big problem. The winds are going to be an issue. 69 Grand Island and Hastings, 70 in Lexington, 65 Ogallala, 67 up in Ainsworth. Again, a very warm morning and it will be hot today. 94 the high and it'll feel more like 96. 97 because of that humidity 59 tonight severe threat early then a threat of locally heavy rainfall and 72 tomorrow it will be it might feel a little cool out there a little chilly for some of you compared to today 97 beatrice 94 mccook you're already cooling down up north uh, around 80. lows tonight 50s to near 60 degrees and look at these numbers tomorrow low 70s for most of you and then we just kind of slowly work our way back up and, you know, keep some periodic chances of storms Thursday night to Friday, uh, maybe a little scattered activity over the weekend, but really focused on um, today. Again, it's going to be a code red day to really just try to make sure we have your attention because it is a holiday. There's going to be a lot of you outdoors and you need to make sure you stay uh, updated. Make sure, you know, the First Alert weather app is great. Uh, it'll tell you about lightning strikes. Yeah. Um, watches, warnings, things like that. So just make sure you're paying attention. You get a notification that says rain is coming in 20 minutes. <laughs>